Wow, so it's been over a month since I've done a video. <clears throat> been working, been pretty much slammed. Um, you know, so anyway, uh, I haven't been able to uh, work on my motor and so I'm kind of getting back at, at it. And uh, so I guess, uh, you know, it's kind of like when you walk away, you're like, okay, where was I at? Um, but <clears throat> the last thing that I did um, before I uh, had to work and do all that is um, is I I took the well I had the end caps off this guy and uh, I went ahead <clears throat> and I knocked this bearing out which uh, is a good bearing absolutely good bear oh I'm sorry no that's right <clears throat> this is the last time I I've got another bearing that's a really good bearing this one is kind of got a spot it's and you just got to take your finger and roll it and right there man it's catching you know there's a couple little places where it's like sort of catching so this bearing is bad <clears throat> And uh, so basically you got an O-ring that goes around here and that seals it and then you got this bearing and then the seal the water from coming up into the engine there's two uh, seals <clears throat> and this one you know I left it kind of like this so you could see how this goes in but basically it's in like this uh, well I came apart there it's in like this and um, or if you can see that hopefully you can get it down a little bit maybe um, they're in here like this so <clears throat> to wait to get these or I'm sorry it was like this so you got this part of it is sort of like this or like that right and so <clears throat> you know you have it how do I show this you have it like this right and so this seals water from getting up and then this one is like this and this seals the oil from you know or anything coming out of the motor <clears throat> and the way to get those out it's kind of like it seems like it'd be really difficult but it's really not and the best way to do that is to take a punch or some kind of like large screwdriver like I did and you're just gonna <clears throat> you're gonna set that down on top of this seal kind of like this and you're just gonna take a rubber mallet and you're just gonna hit on it until eventually it'll pop this out of the bottom and then it'll pop that seal out so to get that seal back in um, we're just going to need something that's that's uh, that diameter which I think I've got I mean they have the seal kit things that are this exact size and it sort of fits down into this and whatnot but what you do what you can do is uh, you get like I don't know maybe something like this this might be the right size this is going to be big enough and you you just push it down in there um, you know you just got to be real careful just do it slow and easy make it even and uh, so I got another <clears throat> this is from uh, this is from the original motor so it's uh, you know it's not it's not gonna you know I can use this part but I need to put new seals in it which I have and then a new o-ring and then this bearing now I've got another bearing that's almost perfect so I would buy a bearing but see right now it's not sticking but as soon as you go the other way or whatever 
you know eventually that bearing will work its way around and I got to looking down in there and you can actually see the little there's like a, a piece of metal or something aluminum or whatever got down in there and then it it caused that bearing to kind of scar it so <clears throat> it's uh, it's non-usable this is a bad bearing so the again you know like this one you just want to you know take your shim off and uh, so since the last time I probably need to check and see uh, see where my shim is but um, you know you could take this shim off and basically you want to get use a pick so like this this shim is actually broken but you want to take a pick if I can show it and you just get get that underneath that o-ring and then it'll just come right out and this o-ring is pretty important so like you can see that one is just toast it's just completely gone and then you know pull your shim off and then make sure you put it somewhere where it won't get damaged Which, I'm not sure what I did with the original the other shim but I've got some shims so And then, like I said, you know, it's just kind of brute force. You just got to hold it down. And then, just take this guy and find the edge of your seal. Go from side to side. And you'll think, man, I'll never get that out of there, but you will. Just so make sure you get the edge of that seal. This is starting to come up a little bit. So like, if it's just not budging, you know, you might take some like PB blaster or something and Maybe. I guess this is about out. I thought I had some more. Alright, well. Yeah, I got some more somewhere. Right here, here's some WD 40. This will work. down in there and help break it loose you see how that edge is raising up now
It's about ready to come. See how that's coming out now? Yeah, it's about ready to come out. It's coming. Make sure you don't get into the side of the housing. So I could put this in a vise, but it'll come out. there there it goes boom so there it is so remember this is down so if you notice your seal side is down and then notice how they're how they are so your seal side is down and then this one is down as well so I had that wrong on the uh, when I was showing that earlier but here's this bearing and uh, this bearing hopefully you know we didn't mess it up yeah yeah we messed this bearing up 